Good morning, everybody. So, we're in a different hotel than we were last time. You saw us. We're taking a flight to the next city today, so we found this hotel and we spent some points. And just happens to be really, really nice. <laughs> but it was a great deal on the points. This mm -hmm. hotel would usually be $100 a night, which is a lot for Malaysia. And it was only 5,000 points a night. Stay at the Hyatt, by the way. The Hyatt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Penang today, which a ton of you guys, and I mean like a ton of you guys, that we need to go to because it's like the food capital of Malaysia. And you guys know us and how much we love food, so we're really excited for that. But our flight doesn't actually leave until tonight, so we're going to go to the Batu Case. It's only uh, just a little bit away from here, so we have enough time. The caves, I'm sure, are very impressive, but the entrance, I mean, that's... That's quite the entrance. You got this guy right here. The statue of Murugan, the god of war. Also, there's a square here with this really colorful building. There's a guy working on it back there. He's I'm just sure dangling. That's OSHA approved. <laughs> uh, also, there's yeah, like is cool. about 10,000 pigeons here. And 10,000 people. Yeah. So we actually read there's a big festival happening next month and a million people mm -hmm. converge on these caves. Here. So I'm really glad that we're here right now mm -hmm. instead of during that. But. You want to go to the top? Yeah, it's a lot of steps. Largest statue in Malaysia. These steps are way steeper than they look from back there. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people are doing them barefoot too, which is cool. And this guy is doing it in this thing. So that's super impressive. It's tough to see on the camera, but this is probably too 250 feet high. I'm calling it now, I think this cave is the most cavernous cave that we have yet to be in. And they used to harvest bat guano in here. Wait, harvest? Yeah, I think. Or scoop? Harvest. I guess they used to scoop up and collect bat guano for the farms from this cave. Pretty cool. And then, was it a British guy? Mm hmm came in and said, hey, this cave's really nice, we should make it something else. And it became like a... A temple, like a hundred years ago. That's pretty cool. I think it's Hindu, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The entrance is back here, mm -hmm. and then there's yet another level. Sorry about this. <laughs> Panning. Uh, there's yet another level up here, and it looks like it opens like you walk through the cave. Mm -hmm. well, let's just go look. Look at this. There's well, this doesn't look that impressive, but <laughs> look at this! There we go! Look at that! We're inside of a cave and there's like a whole temple in here. It's like a good 20 degrees cooler in here. Mm -hmm. They have music playing over here and there's, I think, three different shrines or temples inside of this area. And a ton of roosters which we keep calling and it's kind of cool because it echoes everywhere. The this atmosphere really... in here is really cool. And the incense they're burning smells so good. This whole place just smells really good. You just run by your nose. I do. I really do.
hotel let us check out at 2 p.m. It was so nice. Um, but our flight's in like two hours, so we need to hurry up and get to the airport. We made it to the airport. <laughs> we got here on time, and then our flight has been delayed a total of almost two hours now. So. It's great. Everything's fine. These things happen, mm -hmm. but we have time now to do a postcard giveaway. <laughs> If you guys remember, this is the postcard from the Toronto Gorge in Taiwan. Uh, we put all the comments from that video into a random YouTube comment picker, and the winner is bum, bum, bum. Lenore Rosenberg. If that is your name, then reach out to us on Instagram or shoot us an email, and we'll send you this postcard. Yeah. And now we wait. <laughs> Penang! Yay! <laughs> that was like the easiest like hour flight. It was awesome. Actually, I realized some people may be wondering why we flew instead of took a bus, and it's because we had a free flight credit from a flight that was canceled like two years ago. So we're doing that real quick. Yeah, thanks Air Asia for the free <laughs> flight. Now we're taking a grab to our hotel. This has been a bougie day. This is the fourth taxi that we've taken today. Yeah, this is not normal for us, so just keep that in mind. I'm enjoying it. I am too. From your hotel, turn right, go down straight before the road. Uh, so you have about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Possibly the coolest taxi driver in the world. He just talked and gave us recommendations for the last 30 minutes straight. It was amazing. Yeah, just all of his favorite food places and why they're her favorites and everything. Just a really cool guy. Mm -hmm. Also, look at this hotel room. <gasps> Wait, <laughs> there's so much space. Look at this. How much was it? $30. $30. Not bad at all. You want to go find dinner? Yeah. All of our taxi drivers' restaurant recommendations were closed. This is what, like nine something right now? So we went literally straight across the street from our hotel at this restaurant called Capitan. And there's a lot of people here, so that's a good sign. The writer recommended Mango Lassi, which is mango, yogurt, and milk blended together. And it's like my absolute favorite thing in this entire world right now. I chose a dish called Chicken 65, which I have no idea what that means, but it's boneless and it's fried. And it's also a kind of concerning shade of red. It's very red. The waiter said it was good, so we'll see. That's really good. It's like this really tender piece of chicken. They said it's deep fried, but it must be really, really, really lightly fried because it's not dry at all and it has like the thinnest layer of crispiness. And this red is like a tandoori chicken type taste. So it has a lot of spices and has a little tiny bit of a little thing of spiciness, but like not too bad at all. Yeah. There's not prices on the menus, which is our, always a little nerve wracking. We're gonna see how that goes. First, I'm gonna try the little sauces that came with the rice. Very mild and a little bit zesty. Wow, that white stuff looks like it's gonna be yogurt sauce or something. Well, it probably is yogurt sauce, but it like is very tangy. It's sour. Wow, that tastes like really sour ranch dressing. For the main dish, I got chicken vindaloo, which looks just freaking fantastic. <laughs> also, I just want to say we are interested in trying melee food. We have just so happened to eat a lot of Indian food in the last couple videos. It's creamy. 
creamy and savory. It has a nice bit of kick to it. It's a little spicy. And the herbs are just, there's so much herbs. I love that about Indian food. There's herbs in the sausage, there's herbs in the rice. It's so good. Is that like a whole stick of cinnamon? Yeah, I think so. You want to eat it? No. Dinner was good, and the verdict on the prices is that they are reasonable. Yeah, it was, it was like, like $12. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, that was with two drinks, naan, two things of rice, and then two main dishes. So, happy with that. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming with us today, and we're probably just going to go to every single place our taxi driver recommended in one of these videos. So, we'll see you guys on the next one. Subscribe! That's the wrong button. <laughs> Am I recording? <laughs> Either really brave or really stupid. <laughs> Did you guys watch this video and think we wouldn't do Tia for scale on the tall statue? There she is. There's Tia. All right.